Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario 64. We only have one more star left to get in Lethal, Lethal Lava Land. We have enough stars to beat the game if we wanted to now. But we still want to clean up the rest of the worlds. We're doing fairly well at that so far. Anyway, star number six, Elevator Tour in the Volcano. This should be fairly simple. We just need to get over to the Volcano. And then hop in. And then do the rest. You know. All of it. The whole thing. Just get to the volcano, hop in. And then the rest. Anyway. Instead of going that way, we want to go this way. And then go across to this elevator here. And let's have our tour. So uh, on your left, you can see some lava. And on our right, there's a wall and some lava. And on the other side is pretty much the same thing, and now we're getting higher, there's a lava fall, which is really cool to see. And you want to jump off here quickly before that goes down, because it goes down very quickly. And then this one doesn't take long to go anywhere, because you can just grab onto this pole. Anyway, we've pretty much looked at everything here, other than this flame bar that's going around, we can, we can, which we can avoid. And that's pretty much it for the star. Very simple. These stars in this level are pretty simple, though. Here we go! Well, there we go. Another level complete. Let's head on to Hazy Maze Cave. Which I think we only got, like, two stars in before? I think? Yeah. Metalhead Mario can move. So, obviously we need the Metal Cap for something, so we need to have that unlocked by now, at the very least. Let's head across here. And we want to go down to the underground lake. If we can. Da 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 da. Oh. Okay, so. This way, obviously. And then down. Now, if I can actually manage to ground pound just before hitting the ground. There's a metal cap here. And we want to grab that, and we want to go down this hill as fast as possible. There's a little path that's going through the water. And if we follow it, as using metal cap, we can see a little bit of coloration on the path to follow. But if we make it all the way, there's a switch under the water here that we need to press down. Just like that. What does the switch say? No, the, the switch? This sign. Oh my goodness. Underground lake. Right, metal cave. Left, abandoned mine. Closed. A gentle sea dragon lives here. Pound on its back to make him lower his head. Don't become his lunch. You, you literally can't become his lunch, but alright. Let's go. This room is fairly simple, we just need to avoid the spiders here, and we just need a long jump across twice. If you keep pressing the... holding down the... if you keep holding down the ZL button, and mashing the uh, jump button, you can make a, an extra long, long jump that just goes on forever, basically, if you keep pressing those buttons. Anyway, let's grab the star. There we go. Let's head back in. I like the way the entrance looks. Navigating the toxic maze. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? So, what we want to do is head towards the elevator area. And then we're actually going to finally get to the Hazy Maze part of Hazy Maze Cave. It's named after it and we haven't even got there yet. So... We want to go through here. And now, we have another map here of the maze. We can see our entrance over there, exit there, and two, three blue spots, which should be safe zones, I believe, for you to get into by backflipping into. Hidden inside the green blocks is the amazing metal cap. Wearing it, you won't catch fire or be hurt by enemy attacks. 
You don't even have to breathe while wearing it. The only problem, it's too heavy to swim with. Danger ahead! Beware of the strange cloud. Don't inhale. If you feel faint, run for higher ground and fresh air. Circle is the shelter, arrow is the entrance and exit. So, if we hop down this hole, which is a little bit weird because it bumps you a lot, there's some toxic gas that you can stand in. And if you stand in it too long, you will die. But with the metal gap, you don't have to worry about breathing as it says. So we can just go through here. There's also a blue coin switch which, which we can press and then grab these coins for. All around here, even like up there. But I believe, I can't remember which way we need to go. Because there are actually two exits here that have the exact same outcome. Which gets a little bit confusing. So I'm going to hope I'm doing the correct one first. So if we go this way. I'm guessing I'm doing it wrong. I'm willing to bet that I'm doing it wrong, basically. This elevator takes us to a star. Please be the correct one, please be the correct one, please be the correct one, please be the correct one. Uh, navigating the toxic maze, I did it. <laughs> Somehow. But obviously I said that both ways basically have the same result. Amazing. Emergency exit. It's basically the exact same thing, but going the other path where the blue coins were. That's literally it, basically. Except there's also a little bit after that. I guess that makes it a little bit different, but they're about the same difficult difficulty. So, let's just go through here. Grab some coins along the way, and if I can jump through that just right, you take damage apparently. Okay. Wouldn't recommend that then. Just take just bump your head into something on the way down. You won't you won't be as annoyed. You won't take as much damage bumping your head into something, apparently. Anyway, let's just hop up here. We could also backflip in here. Probably the way it's supposed to go. We can kill the bats from coins if I haven't mentioned already. Well there's another elevator here. And it takes us up. And once we go through the door at the top, we'll be in a familiar area. Somewhat. Because this is the whole room, the... What is it called? Is this sign going to tell me what it's called? If I can get around the front of the sign? No, it's not going to tell me. But this is the room with the rolling rocks, so... If you jump and hold the B button, you can hang on to some objects overhead. It's the same as grabbing a flying bird. Well, good to know. But yeah, there we are on the map, so... Let's just double jump, and then hold on. And then if we just cross over this thing, careful not to go off the edge. Because if we go into that hole, we will die instantly. But if we can make it across here until our shadow touches the platform, we can drop down and grab another star. Here we go. Let's head back in. And I think we're getting through this level fairly qu quickly now. Watch out, watch for rolling rocks. Well, we know where that's taking us. Although we still haven't got the 100 coins yet though, so I'm gonna probably take a look at getting those. I probably should have done them earlier, if I'm honest. So, let's actually go the way of the rolling rocks to start off. Because I think I probably want to get the coins over this way first. Maybe. You could also do this at the same time as the red coins, but you still have to get a lot of coins in different places first. So, let's go across here. Oh my goodness, rolling rocks! Rolling rocks! Rolling rocks. This is where we need to be for rolling rocks, obviously. Let's go this way. Okay. We're gonna grab all these coins and head down because there's like 10 coins down here that we need to get still. Just in the middle of the island, so let's go get those. Also, we also need to get the blue coins in the maze and we have to get all of them. Otherwise we won't have enough coins. 
And also, I wonder if I needed to actually get some more of the coins at the very beginning of the level. Which could be bad, because I don't know if I can get back there easily. I'm gonna have to try there. Okay, stop turning, and jump off. Grab all these coins. There's also coins in the other room here, but that's blocked off at the moment, so... It's only six coins, so I'm gonna- I'm gonna guess I'm alright to leave a few coins behind. But the coins in the maze at least make it a lot easier. And there's a lot of coins there, so... There are- since all of them are blue coins, and you have to collect a fair bit there. We need to actually make sure we don't miss any. Let's take ourselves back up. And then head back to the elevator area and the maze area. Okay, I guess I can grab this 1-up as well, even though I really don't care about 1-up. And now I'd recommend just going down this elevator because it's just so much easier than going back the other way and dying with all your coins. Anyway, by going down this elevator from the black hole, we can just end up right where we need to be for more coins. So yeah. Let's get some more. Shouldn't take too long, although we do have to collect all of the eight red coins again. Which could be annoying. We also have to kill. Pro, pro, we probably want to kill the um, the eyes since they drop five coins each. Also, the red coins are good because they have they they're two worth two coins. Let me get you on your coins, please. Coins, 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 coins. Okay, let's try and get these blue coins because if I don't get these blue coins, I'm gonna be a lot of trouble. Go, 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 go. Grab that one there. Oh, I missed that one. This is not good. Changing the camera is probably what messed me up. Oh, please. I didn't get them all. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Because now I need, still need more coins. There's luckily some bats over here. Another cat block. And I think if I actually go back up here. Oh my goodness, there's a pit there, which is really annoying. I think if I go back up here, there's actually like a row of five coins and also some bats in here. Yeah. Let's get those while I'm here. There we go, 83. And I think that's actually good enough to head back to the red coins now, since those give two each. That should be probably enough for me to have enough coins. Probably, hopefully. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Because I'm going to need more coins. Anyway, let's get some of these as well. Yeah, I definitely have enough coins now. This just That's just simple. Okay. Let's go up through the exit. Because I didn't use that before. But there's a slope to stop you from going through the exit to start off. So yeah. Pretty much done here. Once I actually get the red coins. And don't die because, you know. That's also still a problem that we could have. Long jump, please, thank you. Okay, let's go along here. Let me think, how many do I need? I need... Six more red coins. So I need at least two from up here and two from down there. Or I could get 
some of the eyeballs, but those those eyes down there are really hard to get because they're on small platforms. Especially that one in the corner there. Okay. Grab that one. Oh my goodness, it's gonna fall off. Okay, we're good. Let's just jump off here, and let's grab these coins. There we go. And now, let's head back, back down, because I need... two more. There we go. Just gonna uh, get one or two of these, I guess. Most of them are in boxes as well. Oh, I'm going squished. That's fine. Let's grab that one. And head back for the other one. Doesn't really matter which one of these I get, as long as I get one more red coin. It works. There we go. And that's the 100 coin style. Let's grab that. And let's keep moving. There goes Mario. So now that that's done, let's actually go back through this tunnel here and go to the Rolling Rocks. Because that's where we need to be for the actual star we're supposed to be getting. Okay, so we need to get to the top of the Rolling Rocks area. Up here. Let's see if I can do it in one go. And then, once you're here, you want to wall jump between these two bits here. And there are two platforms up here. And one of them has the star for you. Hazy Maze Cave complete. Very nice. So, next up, probably Shifting Sandland. And then Dire Dire Docks. <laughs> and then we're up to the upper floors already. Shining atop the pyramid. So, that's where we need to go, the top of the pyramid. So let's just go there, I guess. Don't have to worry about anything else. Other than dying. But dying doesn't really count, right? Oh. Oh, oh, go faster. No, back. Back, 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 back. Here works. Cool. And now I can go. That could have ended really badly. You know? I could have run there, but I'm just going to wait to be safe. And go. That vulture is there to ruin everyone's day. Still. If it's tilts your cap, you're going to not be happy. Also, I believe that this uh, this tree here is... Oh, he stole my cap while I was teleporting. You can still use the other caps to... um. Oh my goodness, I'm just annoyed. To you can still use the the wing cap, um, metal cap, and vanish cap, but you still need to get your regular cap back, no matter what. Anyway, that warp takes us over to the cannon if we wanted to use that ever. But I kind of want to just get my hat back. And we need to get. Pretty much. Okay, we're just about at the end. Just need to go a little bit further. Just a little bit further. And there we go. There we go. And now... Inside the ancient pyramid. We need to go all the way around the level again to the pyramid. I actually be able to make it go a little bit faster by... Oh, no, that didn't quite get up there. 
if we get up there though, like this, there's a box here with a shell in it, which means you can go across the sinking sand a little bit. And there's also a wing cap here if you want to try and fly away across. But this makes it a little bit easier for us to get across the level. Just a little bit. Since we can just slide up that like that. And now let's go into the pyramid. This pyramid is a lot like the volcano, and that is you can't get out of it once you've gone in. And whenever you die here and re-enter, you have to you'll re-enter from inside the pyramid, so. Be careful about how you do things. What is this? One up. Got it. Now, sign. Upon four towers, one must alight. There, uh, then at the peak shall shine the light. Okay, very interesting. We'll just ignore that for now, though. There's some Goombas in here if you need to get coins, though. You can't get the eight red coins and hundred coins in this level at the same time, because the eight red coins are outside. And you need more than enough coins... Uh, more than the coins that are outside to actually get through. And get the 100 coins. You need to get in the pyramid for 100 coins. So yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but what else can you do? Anyway, let's go get back here, because another 1-up block, probably. Oh my goodness, it is. Oh, don't get out of the sand! Get out of the sand! You can step in some of the sand, but not all of it. Oh, I need to actually go elsewhere now. I need to go somewhere where it's a bit lower for me to jump onto, like this one over here. Also, there is a lot of Whomps, or Thwomps in this level. I'm not sure what they're called. But anyway, we just need to avoid them. Basically, they'll just try to squish you. Or squash you. That's the correct word. It sounds so similar, but it's different, I guess. Anyway. Let's go across here this time, not going off the edge. And now we can go up here. And there's some monkey bar stuff here for us to do, if we want to get coins here. I don't want to do that though, so let's just get off again. There's also one up on top of that, if we wanted to get that. Now this Thwomp here, or Thwomp, technically, I guess they are Thwomps. If you backflip onto it when it's on the ground, you can get onto it, but you need to get off quickly because it will crush you on the ceiling. So be careful about that. Now let's go up here and keep going. More monkey bars to help us get across here. Oh my goodness, it's going to take a while though. If we slide off, we can we get pulled away by the sand, so we need to keep jumping. Otherwise we will actually drown in it as well, I think. But we can just jump across like that to make it go a little bit faster than just using the monkey bars. If we're not going to get her or grab the coins. Hello. This plump thing here is going to roll across us. So we need to not get uh, squashed by him. And we can just walk past by hiding in the wall. Okay, there's a heart here if we needed to heal. But we're just going to go up these moving platform things. Not exactly helpful stairs. Oh, and there's these buzzers here. I don't. I really don't know what they're called. I really should know what they're called. Oh my goodness. Oh, go quickly, go fast, go fast. Okay, let's go up here. We're getting close to the top of the pyramid now. Which is what we were supposed to be doing. Um, and now, we need to get past this thwomp. As it's moving at the same time as going up and down. Should make it somewhat able to be passed. But we need to pass it when it jumps, so... Or well, we could otherwise just go on top of it and then go, like, across like that, so... Anyway, up here, though, is the star that we need to get. So let's grab that. Here we go. Let's head back in. Stand tall on the four pillars. So you may have noticed those pillars around the pyramid. There's four of them. Oh my goodness, that fly guy got blown up by the bomb because they collided. Um, but we need to actually get on, stand on top of them. 
and it literally means to stand on top of them. You don't you don't have to collect the coin on top, I don't think. It's still good to collect the coin on top, but we actually need to stand on top of them. We can walk up them, where we did before, like for the, uh, the Vulture star. Oh, but some of these are going to be a little bit difficult. So let me actually get down from here. Being careful not to get pulled away from things. And we're going to... Um, I believe I can get, like... I can stay over here and then backflip, I think. There's, like, an easy way to get up here. If you don't want to be too... Crazy. But anyway, let's actually use this wind cap for this. Because the wind cap is going to be... Very useful for, to get from... Tower to tower, I guess. As long as we're careful. Getting a triple jump on a small platform is very difficult. Though. So let's just... There we go. And then, once we stand on all four pillars, which we're getting very close to doing now. Okay, that's another one. Also, these we can walk up these pillars, but if you're not, don't keep walking, you will fall down. But for staying tall on all of them, oh, not like that, not like this, not like this, not like this. The top of the pyramid explodes. And now, if I can manage to not fall to my death. We need to get to the top of the pyramid once the top of it's exploded. Easier said than done, obviously. This is quite easy. It's quite easy to die on this level. I believe, though, another way we could do this is by using the shell, maybe? If I'm not crazy. I could be slightly crazy. It would be fairly difficult to do it as well, so... Okay, let's backflip on there, please. Like that. Okay. I'm about to lose everything. Trying to do this. Because I'm pretty sure that it's possible... ...that it's not going to count me as standing on top of the, the tower if it's... It might not count as being on top of the tower if you are on the shell, though. Was what I was trying to say before my shell got stolen from me. How rude. So rude. Please. This should be easy. I did this as a child. This is how I managed to get up here as a child. It was the only way I knew how. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can do this this time and not actually fall to my death. Obviously I got the four pillars fairly alright. Okay, here we go. No! No 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 Oh my goodness. I don't know how I didn't die just then. I have absolutely no idea how I didn't die. Like actually. Anyway. If I can not do that Please, game. Oh my goodness. Anyway, let's try getting back up here then. Triple jump. I'm having a lot of trouble with triple jumps because of input delay. But that's okay. Let's head to the other side again. Which is fairly easy to do with this. This is also how you get the red coins in the air. There are four of them in the air. That's a, that's a whole half. Okay, land, and stand tall, I'm gonna grab the coin just because I feel like it, get up Mario, thank you. The sand kind of works like snow, except with less um, sliding, okay there we go, nope, 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 careful, 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 oh my goodness, I'm fine. I might just, though, go up the pyramid somewhat normally. There is also another wing cap by the pyramid entrance, if you desperately need that. I think it's, I think it's going to be easiest using the wing cap, though. Unfortunately. Let's go across this, carefully. Okay, and now if I can angle with myself with the most space, also I can- I don't have to line myself up with the pyramid. But that's probably gonna make it a little bit easier. Oh my goodness. This is 
being a lot of trouble for me right now for some reason. There we go. Okay, let's glide over. Just go carefully, 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 carefully. And now there's a hole in the top of the pyramid, which we can go into. And this cage is gonna take us down. When we first entered the pyramid, there was a thing in the middle that we didn't really have a look at because I didn't think about it. But it's gonna take us down to it, and there's a little entrance inside of it that we probably want to go through. So let's go in. And by stepping on those stairs. Who walk here? Who break seal? Wake ancient ones. We know like light. Rumble. We know like intruders. Now battle. Hand. Two. Hand. So these two parts of the stairs are hands with eyes in them. And we need to press the Y button into them, basically. Either d dive or punch them. Either way, we need to do it three times to both of them. And then, once we do it without them pushing us off the edge, careful that they don't push off the edge. Grumble, what happened? We crushed like pebble. You know, you so strong. You rule ancient pyramid for today. Now, take star of power. We sleep darkness. So yeah, we had a boss to fight. It's been a while since we've had, actually had one of those, I guess. But yeah, if we're doing that, we get a star. And that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.